How's it going everyone? My name is Flip Ribbon and welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition Nuzlocke. Last episode, you can, you can see Jackass Trader Man in the corner there. We went to Silph's co uh, God, what a way to start the day. We went to Silphco and we started a whole big heist, you know, we trapped some scientists, did the whole shebang, stole the Master Ball, I mean, we think, but as we were exiting, dirty ass, smelly ass, butthole red, walked in. Also, we got promoted to being an executive. Bill was a traitor as fuck and tried to stab us in the back and ended up killing my kick-ass, Bill. I expect you to answer for that. I expect that, all right? But this episode is gonna be a little different. See, there's so much to this game. There's so much. I've been doing just the story. There is side quests. There is shit to see. There is a lot of stuff to do in this game. And I've trained my whole team here up to basically basically champion level. I could beat the champion of Fire Red with this team. I'm fucking convinced I could. Except for Mario. Mario is bullshit. I don't like Parasect. L little lesson about me. Parasect is stupid. And with my new executive skills, I really want to go down all these routes that I haven't gone down because uh, while I was like wandering around here, I, I can show you. Uh, do I have 17 in my... I don't have 17 in my party. That means I can't show you because I don't have a town map. Give me a moment. So, okay. I caught already a Pokemon up on Route... Let's see, what is this? Is this 12? Yeah, Route 12. So, I ran into a trainer while I was grinding on accident, and I had to steal his Pokemon, so I did get something. I'm pretty sure it was Electrode. Hang on. Yep, there he is. Good old Beach Ball. Alright. Yeah, that was Beach Ball. I also stole a... Another person's... I don't remember. I know it was on the same route, though, so that that's no, no problem there. But we got a whole mess to go down. We got Route 14. We got Route 13. We got a lot of routes here, okay? And then we had the entire cycling road. We got a lot of shit to do today. But I'm excited, because it's mostly just going to be about catching, so I don't want hers. I want to try and steal a guy's, okay? Because for some sexist-ass reason, guys in this game just have better Pokemon. So we're going to do it. Let's go, Ruby. Yay, Ruby has the same call as Mewtwo. So does Parasect. Hang on, do I have two Pokemon that sound exactly the same as Mewtwo? Yep, and come on, where is she? Where is she? Yep, <laughs> perfect. Amazing, Game Freak. Three Pokemon that sound- Oh. Yep, that seems about right. Hey, Palo. I rode my bird. Bird Pokemon! I didn't even fucking realize. Dude, nice. Absolutely fantastic. You're exactly what I need, Bird Keeper Roger! Uh, but th and thus we realize there are only three flying types in all of the first gen. It's really interesting. I I at least I think, right? Because there's Firo, there is Pidgeot, and there's Charizard. Th that's all I got. That's all I know of. So if someone, someone knows more, please send it to my P.O. box that, again, doesn't exist. Oh no! What am I to do? I don't know. Just kill yourself. Just kill yourself now, because I'm stealing your goddamn Pokemon. Okay. Here's the problem. I can't steal Pidgeotto even though I want to because I already had a Pidgeotto and a Pidgeot. So, can't happen. Gotta steal a dirty ass Fero and that will be my flying type. Lombardo. I, I, I've been watching the wrong fucking Nuzlocks because some people, they play Nuzlocks and they just nickname people like random fuck it. Did my face disappear? I'm pretty sure it did. But they'll just name it like random ass and like sounds and I'm like, hmm, hmm. I don't want that rubbing off on me but it seems like it did with good old Lombardo. Uh, I'm gonna go... Good. Great. I'm gonna go get Lombardo. Hang on. Oh, yeah, and I can steal Pokemon from everyone. So my goddamn fucking... My, my bounty is about to fly. It's about to fly into the sky. Like, uh... I don't know. What flew in the sky? Like Apollo 11. There you go. That was successful. And there's gonna be a lot of these, too. Because... O32, get in the box. I'm stealing every single human being's Pokemon. I don't even care. I'm just committing. I'm fully committing to being just the worst human on the planet at this point. I don't even mind. Think we're gonna have to retire Mario again. I mean, I didn't even bother grinding him like the others, because I just knew. I was like, I don't want... I don't want fucking Parasect. Look at how lame his stats are. They are lame. As fuck. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Perf muck muck shank with the plan. Was my point made through gibberish? I hope so. Okay, so what route was that? Come on, Ruby. Oh, my face doesn't disappear. It's just very small. So this was route 20. Holy shit. Okay, well, sounds good. I mean, I gotta I gotta just grind through all these people with good old Lombardo here so I can get him some XP, but uh, yeah, no worries. And I'm showing this one right now just to explain this, but uh, I'm not gonna be showing all the Pokemon I steal. I'll, I'll show my bounty by the end of the episode if I remember, though. So it's okay. It's all right, because we're gonna get a fucking lot. We're gonna get a lot this episode. So, are the Seafoam Islands not a separate area? 
I guess I guess it would be once I get into it. Okay, fine, fine. You, this, this lady over here gets to keep her Pokemon today. Good for her, huh? Good for fucking her. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite kind of fucking style. All these people, they see me fucking take out Lombardo, and they're like, oh, this is gonna be easy. And then, and then I take out fucking Timon, and it's like level 75 or eradicate. Can't, can't kill that with a baseball bat. All right, let's, let's christen good old Lombardo here by flying to Fuxia City. Like I said, the Snorlax around just kind of disappeared at some point. The game never really told me. So it, it wants you to explore on your own accord, right? It doesn't want you to just blast through the story like I've been doing. But you know what? Now I, now I fucking have the power to steal everyone's Pokemon. So it's like... Bam! Win-win, man. I, I, I'm I glad I didn't breeze through these other routes when I didn't have that power. You know what I mean? Uh, yes, I'm the move to leader. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the move to leader and remember. So, good shit. I went to them for Xerxes. Good old Xerxes. -Zerk. And the warden. I fucking went to see the warden, dickball. I didn't go in here, though. Hello? Nobody. Okay, let's go in the backyard. Hi. I, I can't move. <laughs> Really? This is happening right now? You know, Junior, you've shaped up to be quite the able fisherman. How proud I am seeing you with that rod clutch expertly in your hands. All stare fish catching determina determination in your eyes. It's beyond description. Determination. That's all you need. That's the power that was in the Undertales. I think it's finally time I let you in on our family secrets. Oh, gee, Dad, what kind of secret is that? I promise I won't tell no one. Well, son, the secret behind what makes our rod so good. Why, it will forever be the envy of my younger brother. Oh, yeah, we had, like, a really old mission to, like, embarrass these guys. You see, Junior, it's really quite simple. The handle of a good rod is when we cultivate from the finest of grade Elix forest wood. We make the line from a special type of extra durable nylon, and then, right at the point of the hook, we put just a little bit of pharmaceutical grade cocaine so that the fish get high as fuck. Oh god, <laughs> they found me. They must have heard me say that. Junior, it's another one of your uncle's spies trying to eavesdrop on our best kept fishing secrets. Get him! I'll get you. I know how to deal with bad guys like you. I won't let you ruin with dad's fishing business. Oh, oh, really? Oh, goddamn, really? Well, you're only lucky, man. You're gonna get good old Lombardo first, but Lombardo is probably gonna ruin. Bug Catcher Jr. sent out Goldeen. Shouldn't you be Fish Catcher Jr. or some goddamn bullshit? Get in the air, Lombardo. I didn't turn on battle animations. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. I got you. Ah, I'm sorry I couldn't defend you, Paul. Roberto got $140. That's bullshit. Steal Pokemon? Yes. Oh, my God. Um. Oh, yeah. I can actually keep this one because it's the first one I've ever stolen in a fuckcha. Good old fuckcha city. I'll tell you, Krink Kingler is a Pokemon I never used. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I always like Tentacool or, um... There's another water type in this game. Uh, I like Gyarados a lot too, but I never used Kingler. I was like, Kingler's lame. Big. They're all Gorals. My whole team is a bunch of Gorals, and it's pretty great. It's just it, me and the Gorals. You know, when did they start doing like. They started doing fucking goddamn gender specific evolutions with the, the first gen. Why didn't they do Queenler? Good old Queenler. It's beautiful. I knew it. That devious brother of mine is sending crooks on me to steal my secrets. Urg! I won't stand for it one minute. What, are you going to fight me too, you little puss? You're not going to do that shit. Look, man, I'm just a humble entrepreneur. Try entrepreneur. <laughs> trying to provide for my only child. My brother, he lacks the skill and imagination to make a decent rod himself, so he tries to squeeze me out with force instead. Yeah, he does have a terrible rod. The, the secrets you overheard. If my brother finds out, he'll have me bankrupt in no time. You have a heart in there somewhere, don't you, Bandit? You promise not to tell my brother my secrets? You know, what would the old Rod brother really honestly give me anyway? I'll say yes, but you know what? If you don't give me anything, oh my, thank you, Spy. I don't have to much. I don't have much to offer you in return for daring to go against my brother like that. Our dealer gave some me some of these, but I can't seem to find any use for them. Maybe you will. Three rare candies. Well, I mean, that's fine. Can I, like, betray him? Let's go back to Vermilion. Let's see if I can betray him. This is a really funny episode. I'm sorry. 
I'd say that just because we're not making like story progress at all, but I gotta I gotta not be so obsessed with progress. I'm a very like if we're not moving forward, we're moving backwards and that is stagnation. I, I need to move out of that. I need to be able to just relax. Also, where was he? Was he over here? I think he was. Hello, buddy. Well, 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 my rocket spy. Did you manage to get a hold of some of my brother's secrets? What? You won't tell me? What in tarnation are you talking about? <laughs> well, you'd better get me the secret of my brother on Route 12's rod, you hear me? Oh, that was the super rod. I, I can do that. I can, I can betray him for you. But what if he gives me the super rod? No. I can't betray. I, I lied. I lied. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Stupid idiot. All right, so we got a choice. I mean, we can go do the whole uh, fisherman brother thing on Route 12. That could be a thing. Or we could go deal with the bullshit on uh, Cycling Road that that other rocket was telling us about last episode, I think. I'm sorry, I'm trying to like brain in my brain to understand when everything happened, but I don't remember. I kind of want a Cycling Road more, but I could get more reward from Route 12. Let's original plan this baby. Let's original plan this baby. Let's go down this goddamn route. Let's steal some Pokemon. Let's have a good old merry old time, all right? You good? You good. Great. Um, you're probably a bird keeper. We don't need another bird. Fucking wild Oddish. Get out of my town. Um, you're gonna see me? No. All right. Beautiful. Fantastic. Um, just so many choices. There's so many choices. Ooh. You, you, you. Fighting type. Fighting type, man. That is a one I want to fight. Also, I look great from the back, wouldn't you say? I, I think I look terrible in the overworld, but I, I realized what I really look like. And it's beautiful okay this is route 14 anyway no it's not okay good thing that i dig the dig dodge everyone on that route because i want <laughs> i don't want you you stupid camper bitch god there's so many trainers every single one of these people wants to battle me i'm fucking positive moist <laughs> it's ron oh ron go back to britain you sly ginger fuck what do you got come on guys show me what no way, you have both of them? Fuck yeah. Hook me up with that Chan boy, bitch. Um, yeah, you can take it. Aerial Ace. Perfect. How, how, how do I do it? Am I just a, 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 a giant, like, obelisk to just an idiot? Am I, am I an obelisk to the biggest moron on earth? Because that's what I feel like, to be honest, for not turning on fucking battle animations all the time. Oh, no, no. Sis, I'm sorry. Oh, God. She's gonna, like, beat the shit out of you to start aggressively punching you. Yeah, and I'll steal your Hitmonchan, because... Unfortunately, I've already had kick-ass. But hey, 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 hey. No, no, no. Don't look back in anger. I got Hitmonchan right there. Yes, I would love to. His name's Apollo, because you know what? I was gonna call him Rocky. But Hitmonchan ain't cool enough to be called Rocky. So too bad. Also, you? Okay, we'll turn it up. I'll add uh, to our training menu. That doesn't seem, like, mean. She's just saying, do more work, bitch. Do it more. See? Yeah, this bitch wants to fight me. They all want to fight me. It's going to take 8,000 eons. Whoever designed this is the biggest jackass in the world. Instead of being able to just come in from this side of town and go to the Pokemon Center, you got to walk your happy ass all the way around the fucking random block of stone to get up inside the area. It's like a strip mall, but if all the exit were exits were closed and you only had a fucking back door. Stupid. Dumbass Koga, making a stupid ass city layout. Oh, what am I talking about? There's Dodrio, there's fucking Farfetch'd, like, what am I talking about? Lombardo was not the end game. Lombardo was never the end game. God damn it. God damn it. And Dodrio can somehow learn fly. I know that for a fact, because I used Dodrio in my playthroughs. And I just remembered that. It's fun. Because we're officially in the 40s. It's all good, man. Holy shit, we're amazing. Okay, I have to fight these fucking people on my own time. Because they're so- God damn it! God damn it! Get out of my face, Ditto! I don't care! Also, Ditto? You can catch Ditto in that area? I never knew that in my whole life. But I have to fucking fight those people on my own time. Because it is taking forever. So we can kill the twins. That guy right there. Biker Todd. Um, let's see. This guy... This guy, this guy right here. Oh yeah, it's like the weird fence thing. This makes no sense. Okay, this is Route 13 though, okay. So, maybe if these are bird keepers, we try our, let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice on some bird keepers. They have TMs on sale at the fucking department store. Yeah, yeah, I don't fucking care. I actually bought TMs before I wasn't able to buy TMs. So, screw you, Keeper Peck. Big old mm, 
Mwah. Middle finger right on your face. Oh, bummer. Yeah, it is a bummer. You want to know what the bummer is? You only have Pokemon I've already stolen before. So this will not work. No, 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 no. Dupe claws, bitch. Too much. Too many Pidgeotos. Too many Fiero. It's not acceptable. Keep him back. And you know what? I don't care about this guy. He's just going to be 042. I, I don't need to nickname him. I can't use him. Shut down in flames. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. I didn't shoot you down. Did you have a Doduo? You did have a Doduo. Perfection. Perfection! I like, I like Dodrio a lot more than I like Firo. Gonna be honest with ya. Even though they're like literally exactly the same, right? It's just Firo, but with three heads and no wings. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. Game Freak was on crack when they made the first generation. What can I say? Her name is Split. <laughs> She's split. Because you know what? I don't buy that all the Dodrios don't. Oh yeah, they do have separate personalities. They like say that. Strange. Very, 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 very strange. Alright, so we got some fucking real ass choices here. We got Apollo, which I totally forgot I took even. I got Split. I, I got a lot of shit. I got a lot of shit here, man. Alright, so obviously I want Split. I do want Split instead of, uh, Lombardo here. So we'll put him in officially Box 3 time, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We're horrible people. I'm a horrible person, but you know what? It's okay. It's all good. We're living life. And I want Apollo, but I don't know who I'd switch out. I really don't. And the only human being I could possibly think of is Timon. I'm not switching out. Timon. Not for God, not for Jesus, not for heaven, not for hell. It's not fucking happening. I could switch out Nidoking, right? I could switch out Xerxes. But I just trained Xerxes to level fucking 70, so... I think Apollo's just gonna have to chill. Think, think he's gonna have to just chill out for a little bit. <sighs> he's got good moves, though. That's the thing. He really does. It's okay. It's fine. It's all good. Everything's fine. I wish desperately <laughs> I could get the EXP share. I'm gonna be honest with you, because training goddamn split here is gonna be a real pain in my split, okay? <laughs> a pain in my split. It makes... Little to no sense. Don't look into it. Okay, now it's Route 13 time. Okay, now it's Route 13 time. I was like, what the fuck? It's not showing. No, no, no. Don't want cyclists. Okay, that was a close one, baby girl. I don't know. See, these sprites are really vague. They can either be birdmen or they can be electrical carriers, which sucks because I don't need neither of those. But I don't really need anything at this point. So screw it, let's steal from these ladies. Oh, oh, it's not a double battle? Well, Beauty Sheila, excuse me, let me get a chance to do my hair. Oh, Beauty Sheila, it's over already. Yeah, and unfortunately, I have to tarnish your beautiful, stupid face by stealing your dumb cat. It's just over. And again, I don't really think I care about this guy. So I think he's gonna be 043. And that's just, that's just life. It's just life for him now. Sorry. Okay, I, I don't need to waste more time with this because I've now officially caught all the Pokemon on this whole, like, thingy thing that I can. So, bye-bye. Big old bye-bye. We're gonna go to the cycling road now and deal with the big old biker man. I'm off to cycling road to kill some guys. Route 18. Okay, so I could probably do that too. Don't need it. Just don't need it right now. I got split. That's all I need in my life. Bike music. God damn it. It won't stop. Hey. Get lost! Our boss ain't got no appointment with you, Rocket! Yeah? Yeah? You all say that? What do you want from us, little suit gangster? Yeah, that's me. Quit your clarin', Rocket! You got no business with us bot bottoms! And I damn well don't think you want it. You, you called your gang the bottoms. One more time, pal! You called your gang the bottoms. Fantastic. Just, how could anybody possibly think that that's not the best fucking name for a gang ever. It just strikes fear right in the soul. As a falcon from the bottoms, I can't look a meddling rocket in the eye without getting the need to set things straight. So, so your ranks are birds? Your ranks are fucking birds and you're called the bottoms? I can never understand, Biker William. I will never understand. All right, split, come on, who are we kidding? You are not the man. You're not the guy. I'm the guy. That's Watto. Watto is actually uh, Elijah Wood sitting there in a big golden suit saying, I am the guy. See the Pokemon? Hell yeah! Oh man, I got so many choices. <laughs> Give me your goddamn wheezing. Stupid Pokemon! Seriously, Gen 1 everyone. Gen 1ers are the most annoying motherfuckers on the planet. Wheezing? Wheezing. Can you tell me what the fuck coughing and wheezing are? No, really. No, really. Because we want to we wanna sit here and criticize a pair of keys for not being able to be a Pokemon. What the fuck is that? A tumor? A fucking free radical in your body? 
Yep, that's all I see. His name's Tumor. I was gonna name him Tumor Boy, Tumor Man. Nope, Tumor. Get the fuck out of here, brother. You suck. And so do Gen 1's designs. And anybody can fight me. I mean, I like some of them, okay? It's classic, obviously. But fuck you, because it's, if you're gonna sit there and criticize on an objective basis, you have to criticize everything on an objective basis. That's how it works. That's how criticism works. You know that? Fly! Up in the air, Split! Okay, let him screech at you like the big monkey he is, but somehow, fly with your feet! I, how does Doduo fly? How did that happen? How did that happen? How did that happen? What? 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 That just doesn't make any sense. I can't find any information on Earth that would make that make sense. Unless I just wasn't paying attention and used, like, Mind Reader or something. But what? What the fuck, dude? I'm gonna look back. I'm gonna look back in the footage because that makes no sense to me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too, man. I don't understand. I don't. I don't think. I don't think Split's dead. I don't think Split's dead at all. That makes no sense to me. No, it used two screeches. Okay, it used two screeches, and then it fucking used assurance, and I was flying. That doesn't make sense. But that happened in Platinum too. But I thought it was a bug of the randomizer because it didn't think that Horenzo had fly. It didn't think it was actually in the air, but he was. But that doesn't make any fucking sense in this game, because this game lets Doduo learn fly. That's just bullshit. That's just not right. It's not right. No information in the fucking world told me that Assurance can hit fly. So Split gets his first goddamn mulligan, because I don't understand. Like, Assurance... Assurance doesn't do that. Assurance doesn't hit no matter what. That's fucking horse shit. I had assurance. I have assurance on my goddamn Weavile and Sword and Shield. It does not do that. Eat my garbage, Fire Red. Up oh, this way. Maybe this way is a bit, a, bit, a bit less bullshit, huh? A bit nicer. No. Why did I think that? Okay, be careful, Split. Holy shit, Split. I can't fucking do the whole switch out training method with Split here. Because he's a goddamn piece of glass. Yeah. Yeah, is this what you want? Is this what you want, Gen 1ers? Huh? You want this fucking guy? This big fucking pile of nondescript fucking juice. Yeah? You like him? Cool. I'm glad we had this talk. And I'm not salty against Gen 1ers, okay? You like whatever the fuck you want to like, but just, just just, don't be such a critical asshole when you have no fucking basis to be critical. Because I'm all about being a critical asshole, okay? I am a critical ass. I'm basically the critical asshole of the year. But listen, don't be, don't be, don't be a critical asshole if you have no goddamn warrant to be. That's how it works. We're the bottoms. You mess with one of us, you're messing with all of us. Yeah? That's not how Team Rocket really works. You mess with one of our grunts, it's like, Well, grunt, why were you such a fucking idiot? And I think that's how you should do it. Because you know what? Too much too much collaboration being like, No, we're never wrong. That's never good. Alright? Never good at all. I love it. I just absolutely love it. I love the visceral feeling of knowing. I just took this man's Pokemon. There's nothing he can fucking do about it. And it's mine. To be named 46 as the one thing he is now. <laughs> He's just a number in my goddamn box of collections. It's beautiful. Gotta catch him. There's so many trainer tips. Jesus Christ, all I need are more trainer tips, please. I don't know enough about this goddamn game. Hey, look, a patch of grass on Cycling Road. Nobody thought to, like, trim that down a little bit. You know, this is a much more interesting Cycling Road, though, than fucking whatever. Uh, Pokemon Platinum, though. Oh, it's the bottoms and the tops. And the tops are over. Ridiculous. Absolutely ludicrous. Celadon is where the progress lies. I don't think. Oh, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It lies in Cinnabar. We're good. Let's check our bounty. Hey, buddy. My, my. What have we here? Rocket Bandit in the flesh. Absolutely. That's me. Roberta, Roberta, Roberta. 208,000, baby. Hell yeah. I'm fucking cool, man. I got. I got $200,000 to my head. That's fucking incredible. You can't just mount your bike here. Okay, fine. Hey guys, I'm here to solve this. I'm the boss of the tops, you goddamn man. You're a rocket, ain't you? Hmm. Yeah, I don't got no business with you lot right now. But I respect you people. Maybe sometime down the line. Really, so I can't even do anything here? This is just a waste of my goddamn time? Really? Really seriously? For real seriously? Jesus Christ. Fine. Fine. Sounds good to me. I'll just go down to fucking Route 12 and do the fisherman guy. How about that? I'm doing side quests, whether you like it or not, game. I'm doing it. What am I doing right now? What am I doing right now? Did I really just fucking... I forgot I had fly. I just sat around walking my happy ass all the way here. I forgot I had fly. And that's what happens. That's what happens when you get traumatized. <laughs> and you lose your friend, okay? You forget he ever existed. 
And then you remember, and you're like, God damn it, how could I ever forget? I feel so guilty, I'm such a terrible friend of... All of that. Yes, for Pete's sake, I'm one of Professor Oak's aides. I just don't see why everybody thinks that's so funny. I agree. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. AIDS jokes are not funny. It's like, <laughs> you have a terminal disease, bro, that can't be cured. <laughs> it's like, who do you think you are exactly? Who do you think you are exactly? <laughs> Says the one who literally named Weezing Tumor. Listen up here, ladies. I didn't mean that as a cancer joke or belittling cancer. And that's what I feel like AIDS jokes are. Just belittling and not nice. But of course, context is everything, right? Context is a lot of things. So, you know, if you're not making fun or disparaging AIDS, I guess I can see why it's great. But, uh, I don't, I don't think just saying the word AIDS is hilarious. I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's what uh, dictates comedy in, in these realms. I want that Pokeball. I want it. Come here, Ruby. Let's go. And it's skill swap. That's a pretty good one. That's a real good one. I might give that to Dodrio because his skill sucks. His ability is garbage. Runaway is stupid and nobody likes it. Where is this fisherman's fucking fisher sack? Like, it, it, it was a shack, right? On Route 12. That's what he said. Sport fishing area. If I go down here... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> my B, everyone. My B. Okay, it was my bad. <gasps> I'm gonna steal your book. Dear Diary. I have at last managed to perfect the formula for creating the most super rod known to man. It will outperform both my brother's rods by a mile, and no trainer who tries it will ever go back to using another. The rod is made from sturdy but regular materials, firm grip, fast action. In addition, I infused its hook and sinker with the odor of a female Gyarados. Because Gyarados, as any fisherman knows, is the sea Pokemon with the greatest sex appeal of all. It- <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! That thing there is private! Yeah, I can- I can definitely tell. Blast it all! My brother sent you, didn't he? That good for nothing, coward. What, he'll have my- now he'll have my secret. What will I do? Uh, uh, hang on. My brother in Fuckshare told me he had a pink-haired spy sound on him. He said the spy was sympathetic and promised not to leak his secrets. I is it true? You promise not to tell the fishing guru my secrets. Fuck. I don't know. Am I going to be a good guy for this one time? Just to these fishing men? You know what? You know what? No. <laughs> no? Well, fine. I'll just have to force you to stay quiet then, won't I? Oh, <laughs> Please, please do, Mr. Man. I cracked my knuckles. This is just the bad habit episode. Welcome to bad habit. Aww. I wish I would have fought you earlier. Or, or before I fought some other jag off on this route. Ding old damn. Now I have beach ball when I could have had freaking dragon tail. Oh, you had the cool ones. You had Tentacruel, you had Golduck, you had Gyarados. God damn it, man. That sucks. I mean, at least I'll be able to steal it for a trophy, but... Would've liked to use Gyarados, I'm not gonna lie. Would've liked to use Gyarados or Tentacruel. It's not right! Maybe it's not, but you know what? I, I just, I gave, I gave that one guy a mulligan for reasons I don't even understand. I just said, you know, I don't wanna tell him. But you, give me your goddamn Gyarados. 047, Triple Dot. No, he's just 047. Nothing special for you. You evil little, I'll have my brother in court for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can try, but, uh, the Fisherman Diary lies close on the table. Well, that's fine. You can try. You can try all you want, Mr. Man, but, uh, it's done. It's over. Oh, Mr. Fisherman, I have gotten what you desired. Well, 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 my rocket spy. I forgot all of your voices. I think you were, like, southern at first, and then he wasn't, which was weird. Did you manage to get a hold of some of my brother's secrets? Oh, me, oh, my, tell me more. Wait. What? You refuse to tell me about my younger brother's secret? <laughs> You're some weird-ass double-crosser, aren't you? How hard is it to stay consistent? Well, <laughs> I can't help but reward you for showing me my other brother's secret, can I? It'll be plenty to make sure my rod reclaims its place at the top of the market. Take this, you weirdo. The Mystic Water. Hey, okay. I'm into that. I should have been giving- I should have been getting his rewards this whole time. They would have been way better, wouldn't they? They would have been like items, like this. Whatever. I love the Mystic Water. Let's give that shit to motherfucking. No, don't use, you idiot. Give that shit to Ruby, baby. It's gonna be amazing. Alright, everyone. Well, I'm gonna end that episode here. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want in the world, and have an amazing day. I'm me, you're you, but I've gotta go. So, 
Peace out, everyone.